Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding. Topic number 18, Job Practice. Fillet weld, T-joint, horizontal position and vertical position up with filler metal. The objective of this job practice is to develop the skill to produce quality T-joint fillet welds on 16-gauge stainless steel in the horizontal and vertical position up. The finished weld should have equal leg dimensions and a relatively flat face. The weld should be shiny with a slight copper tint. The weld symbol requires a 1 16th inch fillet weld on one side of the joint. The face of the weld should be approximately flat. Material, 16 gauge stainless steel, electrode, 1% thoriated tungsten, 1 8th inch diameter, shielding gas, argon, welding grade, filler metal, ER308L, 1 16th inch diameter. Equipment, power source, AC-DC combination, collet and collet body, 1 8 inch, nozzle, 3 8 inch inside diameter, protective clothing, gloves, and helmet, stainless steel wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. Machine settings, polarity, direct current electrode negative straight polarity. Amperage setting, 45 to 55. Hot start, 4. Post purge, 10 to 15 seconds. High frequency, automatic. High frequency control setting, 50. Gas flow rate, 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, 2 to 3 electrode diameters. The workpiece for this job practice is made of two pieces of stainless steel placed at right angles and then tack welded at each end to form a T-joint. The first part of the job practice will be done in the horizontal position. The second part will be done in the vertical position, bottom to top. Place the tack welded workpiece in the horizontal position. Use a 45 degree work angle halfway between the vertical and horizontal plates and a 10 degree push travel angle. Point the electrode into the root of the joint. Place the filler rod into the joint and angle it 20 degrees away from both plates. Start the arc and move the torch evenly along while holding the filler rod stationary. Be sure to maintain a consistent 1 16th inch arc length. Usually, the electrode is extended a little more in the joint to improve the accessibility to the root. The finished bead should have a flat face about one electrode diameter wide and show the copper color. Vertical position welding is somewhat more difficult than horizontal because the force of gravity tends to make the puddle sag and your body position is not as comfortable. Position the torch with a 45 degree work angle and a 20 degree push travel angle aiming the electrode at the root of the joint. Point the tip of the filler rod at the puddle area and angle it 20 degrees from each plate. Move up the joint using a smooth, steady travel speed. There will be a tendency for the torch angle to change and your travel motion may not be steady. It will also take special care to avoid moving the filler metal into the electrode and to keep the electrode out of the puddle. The finished bead will be flat about one electrode diameter wide and have the usual copper color. 
At this point, adjust the machine settings for welding with pulsation. Pulsation on. Amperage setting 60. Percent weld current 33. High pulse time 4. Low pulse time 4. Repeat the horizontal position exercise with pulsed current using the same torch and filler rod angles as before. The technique is similar to previous pulsed current exercises in that the torch is moved forward during the low pulse and held stationary for the high pulse. The finished bead contour will appear like a series of overlapping spot welds. The vertical T-joint is welded with a similar technique. You may find the pulsation somewhat easier in this position since the pulsing current tends to provide a rhythm which aids in keeping a consistent travel speed. The finished weld should be similar to the welds made previously with a flat contour and about one electro diameter wide. Excessive penetration is the most common defect associated with T-joints. It is caused by too slow a travel speed or an excessive amperage setting and is especially common in the vertical position. Another problem which can occur is an excessive melting back of the filler rod. This is the result of too much push angle or an excessive arc length. When you have finished, inspect the wells and then continue practice.